Hey, you, yeah you, did you ever sit down and think about how I could totally do with an armor stand combo lock? No, I really haven't. Well, say no more, I have just the contraption for you. This is the armor stand combo lock. I think I said that already. And all you have to do is put the combination of armor stands properly and your door will open up. It's amazing. And best of all, it doesn't make the armor stands look like this every time. Like every other Bedrock Edition armor stand swapper ever existed does. It's pretty cringe. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. But mine is the anti-cringe and it definitely is. Guaranteed to give you satisfaction. All you have to do is call 348-835. Whoa, whoa there. Do you really think it's a good idea to give your phone number to fans? Like you're not dream. Mmm, good call. Anyway, let's do this. The armor stand combination lock. But Lobster, how do I use this? Thing. Well, as all epic funny redstone youtubers would say, it's really quite simple. And since I am indeed an epic funny redstone youtuber, I'm gonna say it. It's really quite simple. And it actually is. Let's take a look at it. So once you build this lovely machine, using it is actually quite simple. All you have to do is make the armor stands match up with the actual combination you've programmed the system to open the door for. So conveniently here we have a piece of paper with the code diamond iron diamond gold. Iron, no diamond, what am I saying? We have the combination there that we need to put right here. So let's just do that. We have to put this one to diamond. So do it once, wait for the little heartbeat thing and then put it to diamond. Okay, so that's already iron, so that's good. And then we have to put gold. So that should just be one flip. And then we have to wait a little bit and there we go. Now we can enter our base or wherever you have this leading up to. Materials, oh, I have to do materials list now, that's great. Just wonderful, everything I want on a Saturday afternoon. And then when you want to reset it, all you have to do is switch these around a little bit. So now the door is closed. The door is closed in the beginning, but now it's really scrambled. And there are a bunch of combinations here. It's gonna be pretty hard for your friends to get in, unless they have a pickaxe. Old doors are weak to Minecraft tools. Anyway, tutorial time, let's go! Also, before we start the tutorial, I just want to give credits to where I got the inspiration for this project from, Gamerosity. Uh, he pretty much made one of these, and I made it smaller and for Bedrock Edition, so make sure to check out his if you're a Java player and want to see one of these. Mine is a little bit more advanced, though, so uh, stay here. Don't leave the video. Give me watch time. Thank you. And thanks, Gamerosity, for the idea. I appreciate it. So now that my Saturday afternoon is just a little bit worse, we have the materials list. So I'm going to just put this farther back in my inventory, and we can see this is everything you're going to need to build one section of this so one slice if you want to build it like me just multiply everything in here times four also you're just gonna need a bunch of blocks for redstone and for decoration but you can choose what blocks you want for that you're also gonna need buttons a door and a bunch of shovels you'll see what i mean later i'm pretty bad at materials lists so first we want to get an 11 block long area so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there we go and we're gonna make it three deep like this and no oh okay like that. Okay, there we go. And now we're just going to separate little parts that we need to put our trap doors in. So break a hole there, break a hole there, break a hole there, and break a hole there. This is where our door is going to go. So quickly, I did not put that in the materials list either. I'm a terrible tutorial creator. Put the door right here. This is where you're going to have your door. So right here, we can put trap door here, 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 and here. Then build down one, two blocks and put a trap door right there. And then break the blocks above it. There we should go. And then we can kind of just place some going like this, you can pretty much put a temporary block there, trap door, temporary block, and trap door. And that's all we need for our four trap doors. We're gonna repeat the step one more time. So two blocks down, and instead of this time putting a trap door, we're going to actually get a slime block and our sticky piston and put a slime block there, two temporary blocks down, break the one on top and put a sticky piston right there. So what we should have is we should have an armor stand here, here, and here. And just repeat the bottom step for the next three rows. Then put your slime blocks on top, obviously. I mean, I did say repeat the step. If you were to miss that part, that'd be pretty stupid on you. But here we go, put the things here, and that is all we have to do. And now that we've placed all the armor stands, break it, because that's pretty dumb to place them all from now. Doesn't make sense too, it'll just make the redstone harder. You're gonna end up breaking them at some point. So yeah, disregard that step. Yeah, that was pretty dumb of me to say. At least you get the satisfaction of breaking them. They sound really satisfying when you do that. Now you're going to place your button. I don't have a button. Now you're going to place your buttons right on this edge, so right in front of the trap doors on each side. And there you go. Now under this, we're going to place a sticky piston on each of them. And then we're going to get observers and place them inside towards the trap doors like this. So pretty much the red dots there. And then the eyes are right over here. And then under that, we're going to place a temporary block another temporary block, and then an observer facing down here. So the red part is once again facing down. And we can uh, do that several times. So there we go, block, observer, block, observer, 
block observer and break all the temporary blocks because those don't need to be there. Now we're going to put four tick repeaters on top of them. So place it down, press it three times and repeat that for all of them. That is going to power this middle trap door and make it, uh, make it open. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. And as well as that, put two observers on top of this. So one like that and one like that. But you see we have a problem. It's not really possible for us to place it going up. So we're going to first of all place observers going on each of these, as I said before. So observers going up on each of these, not to the side. Just make sure they're facing up, red dot up. And then we're just going to go up here, break the blocks in front of the buttons real quick, because we just have to place these observers facing upwards right there. And then you can place them right on back. And that is not where they go. Now we're gonna grab our immovable object and put them right under these observers. Any solid immovable block will work just fine. Now you're gonna place your redstone block, I like using wool, right next to these pistons. Then you can put some redstone dust on each of them. What that's gonna do is pretty much launch this up right when all of them open. So that's how we're gonna do that. And then we're going to have another part. Uh, what's the other? Now we're going to align ourselves with the trapdoors and place observers, two of them, on the trapdoor. So it should go like that and do that for each of them. Then right here, we're going to go down into a block. So temporary block on top of the observer and then down right here. And just copy that for all of them and then break the blocks in between. Now we're going to put redstone dust on each of them and then redstone dust on the top of the observers right there. So it's gonna be redstone dust there and on top of the observers. Now you're gonna grab slabs and make a little bit of a slab staircase. So you're gonna have a slab right there so then the redstone can go up and same right here. Another slab there and put redstone on each of them. Once again, repeat that for each of these. You can use glass, it makes it a little less complicated to build, but slabs and glass both work the same for this situation. And this is the fun part that makes the things not look weird when they come out the ground. So just put redstone blocks, or not redstone blocks, but blocks for your redstone in front of these slabs right here. So here and here. You're gonna put a comparator on subtract mode on top of these. So just press it down and then click it once uh, with your right click or your selection button and that should light up the front torch. Do that for all of these and there you go. That should work. Right here we have a barrel and that barrel is going to be placed right next to this redstone dust. So you can put a temporary block next to the slabs the first row of slabs and then put the barrel right there break the block under that it needs to be full to this amount so first row full second row full and then the next three have to have items in it or you could just count has nine times two 18 plus three so 21 items or rather slots full of unstackable items so just put 21 shovels in your barrel and you should be fine i use totems of undying because i am bougie and you're only going to need this setup every other rows so you're not going to need it here you're just going to skip one and put it right here so once again, put this barrel with all the items inside and then ah, then put another block next to this redstone dust or under however you want to do it. Just make sure the block is in front of this and same for this slide. So we're going to put a uh, block right there and then break the block under it because that's too bad to place it next to the redstone dust. Please don't hurt me. And then just put a comparator in front of the barrels. And there you go. That is 100% operational. Now we're going to put a block in front of the comparator and then put redstone dust there. And then we're gonna put a block here and redstone dust here as well. That's actually a lot of our system done. All we have to do now is activate the actual logic of the system. So we're gonna put temporary blocks under all of the second observers. So we're at the back of the system. Let's put a block next to this block right here and then grab your sticky pistons and put them right under these blocks. So right here, 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 and that's not where it goes. <laughs> right here, 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 and here. And break the temporary blocks on top of them. And then we can get a repeater and I can just grab it from here. Put it on three ticks, so press it down and press it twice. He's going to find out who's not here nice. And then do that for all of them. So you have three tick repeaters all there. And then put obsidian or any immovable block that is solid right here. So on all of these. And no, not there. That is not good. Did I break? I mean, break system. That is not a good thing. Anyway, get these observers right here and put them facing back. So you're going to have them on the bottom of those sticky pistons. And then you're going to go down uh, one, two blocks from this, oh, sorry, three blocks from that, and then you're gonna have redstone dust. So when this piston extends, we can test it out by getting a redstone block or something that should power that block with the observer. So we're gonna do that for all these. So just extend this line out a little bit, and that is not where I wanted to extend it. And then there you go, redstone dust on all of these. Now on the side of this, we're going to place redstone torches. Just like that. So the redstone torches are on the inner side of the redstone. So pretty much when this goes down, it'll just flick this torch off for one redstone tick. And that's all we need. So now we're going to have to do a little bit more complicated stuff. And I actually have to go check because I don't remember what I'm doing. I'm enlightened. So now we're going to put a block here and then a redstone dust on top of that. So this redstone torch should be powering this redstone dust. And we're going to copy this for all of these. So let's just stack back and then put blocks in front of all these redstone torches. 
just like that. So we're going to put redstone dust on all of those. And then now we're going to go down into our hopper part. And this part is a little bit more complicated, so make sure to follow me here. So first you're going to go down one block diagonally. So there you go. And then go out two blocks and break the first two. Then you're going to put hopper there and there. So they're both facing this temporary block, which you now have to break. And then put a hopper into that hopper then a hopper into that hopper, or rather two hoppers into that. So this is what the bottom section looks like right now. And all I have to do is another popper right there. So I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to screenshot this. This is what the hopper should look like. Just keep fiddling around with it until you get them to look exactly like this. And then redstone dust on top of the first row of hoppers and make sure you're crouching when you do this or you will just open the hopper interface or somehow be doing this. I don't understand what's happening. And you're not gonna put any items inside the hoppers yet because right now we just wanna put a comparator out the back right here. So comparator right here into a block with a torch right there into another block. So that's literally what that one section looks like. You can kind of copy it right here. And we're gonna just copy this a couple more times. So once again, build out a couple temporary blocks right here. Ah. And then put the two hoppers facing into those blocks. Break the temporary blocks and then put hoppers going into up oh, and then put hoppers going into these hoppers. So, oh my gosh, going into these hoppers just like this. Two hoppers going into those hoppers. Oh my gosh, not like that. I keep doing that. Two hoppers going into the oh my two hoppers going into those hop two hoppers going into those and then a hopper going into these hoppers and once again I'll give you a little bit of a bottom view this is what it should all look like it's very complicated when you look at it but when you place it right it should all turn out correctly now we're going to copy this step once again so we're just going to place blocks like that every other time and then put a comparator on top of those just like that so there should uh, so there should be a comparator on top of each of these blocks and while we're at it let's just put redstone dust on these three lines of hoppers right here so redstone dust on each of those. There we go. Then once again, put a block in front of each of these comparators and in front of those blocks, we're just gonna place redstone torches just like so. And now remember the blocks on top of those redstone torches. And now what we're going to do is a little bit of a section less part, but just like a whole thing that loops everything together. So it's not like per slice, but just the whole thing together. Put blocks next to each of these torches facing left. So one would be here as well. And for the first three, just place a repeater. So. If I grab my repeater, just place one on the first three of these blocks, then put redstone dust on the last one. So however many you have stacking down into the end of the world, just make sure you have repeaters on each of them. Although the end of the world wouldn't really load properly, so I don't think that's a good idea. Anywho, now you're going to go up one block from here. So make sure to follow me here because this part's pretty involved. Then go another block here. So put redstone dust on each of those. Then you're going to grab your slabs, put a temporary one right there, just make sure one is right here so another slab staircase once again and then do it again put it again and then your last slab right here your last slab should be right under this observer right here then you're going to put redstone dust on each of those slabs with a block in front of them then on top of that block we're going to place a piston right here and i also made a little bit of a mistake before this door has to go on this block so as long as it's on this block, you can kind of put your frame right here. It will look a little bit less authentic. It's the easiest way to wire it, so I'm not gonna complain for you and you better not complain in the comments. Anyway, now you're just going to place a redstone torch. Make sure once again, the door is on this block above the redstone torch. There you go. And pretty much this is the entire thing done. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is when you put the armor stands in, there cannot be a block here. You have to have a three block gap above the armor stand thing, which you can design pretty well. I put some stairs to make it look cool. You can always work with it. It's not too much of an issue and pretty much every armor stand thing is like this anyway. So I'm just going to build my little three high things. I'm not gonna decorate it at all because I want it to be very bare bones for the tutorial. So I'll just follow this kind of like this. You can always change the blocks. And for the last one, I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter for the door so you can't just, you know, go over it with an elytra. So this is what the front layout should be with blocks. Obviously you can change the blocks once again, but this is what it should look like. And you don't really have to, but just to cover up the redstone, put blocks behind. And these, I'd like to have a certain color just to like represent which one is which, kind of like over here you can see, but that's what we need this to look like. Anyway, now we can put our armor stands in. So first we're going to grab all of our armor pieces and then you're gonna put your first bits of armor on top of these. I'm gonna put these all as iron. There you go. And then you're going to press the button for all of these and not place armor stands. <laughs> I'm bad. And then you're gonna want the next one to be gold because gold or you can do anything but in my oh my but in my case I want it to be gold so here we go that is everything we need to be gold we're gonna press the button again there we go and the last one is just gonna be diamond so there we go 
and we're just gonna put that like that remember you can put whatever you want on these things as long as you can actually differentiate it and then we're going to press the button again now so you should have the iron ones pop up there we go perfect now you want to put your actual code in so what if you want to be the combination just put that in right now once again i'm going to reuse the standard diamond iron diamond gold so there we go, diamond, iron, diamond, gold. And that's exactly what I want the combination to be. So now that we have our code, just put an item inside of the hopper in front of the comparator. So the hopper right here, and then just put a random item in there. I'm just gonna put a random quartz block in there. Same for all of these. Make sure it's the block in front of the comparator or rather the hopper behind the comparator. The comparator should turn on once you do so. And once we do it for all of them, the door should open up. So let us do that. And as you heard, it opened up and we can check up here. Now, there are some quirks with this machine. You have to go pretty slow with it. You don't wanna go too many times or when the item is going through these hoppers, it is pretty slow. So you'll end up not having an item here and then your whole combination will be off and you don't want that to happen because then you have to go to fix the redstone. Uh, give yourself some time in between doing this. It's not green proof. And if you want a little bit of a time gauge, you can grab four observers and a note block, which I don't have, and then put four observers on top of the last redstone dust right there and then a note block right here. When this note block goes off like that, you should have like a little bit of a signal to when you can actually press the button again. And you should wait like another little bit of time after this. But that is just a little bit of a signal for you. So I'm just gonna do that so you can kind of see. So once again, I'm gonna reset all these to what they were originally, which is pretty much all iron. So I'm gonna do that quickly. And then you saw that thing. When it went off, that means you can kind of do it again. So diamond iron diamond gold so we're gonna have to press these two twice and you can kind of hear the thing beating away and that's pretty much just telling us we can do it again so right there that would mean we can press it again but no need to that's already on the right number we can do that for this one as well and then our door is going to open up there we go perfect and that is pretty much it if you have any questions comments or concerns just hit me up on discord or twitter or comments comments are probably easier but that is pretty much all i have for you today so have a lovely day and good bye